Thank you for trying financetrainingcourse.com, an online collection of risk, puzzle, treasury and portfolio management resources created by risk and treasury professionals. Your shareholders equity number would move on a mark to market basis if interest rates went up by a percent or came down by a percent just like NII at risk. So just like NII at risk, there are again two variations of this report. So we said um, traditionally, conventionally, we have net interest income at risk. We have earnings at risk. We have market value of equity adjustment. And we have MVE at risk. The MVE at risk is sometimes also known as the capital at risk report. And the primary difference between these reports, the primary difference between these reports is that, let's just draw a simple table that will help us address and understand how this cal gets calculated. The primary difference between these reports is that two of them are static two of them are dynamic and two of them give us an associated probability as well as a sorry a target account so if i were to if i were to work with something ni at risk is a static ni at nii at risk is a static report so this is a static report uh, it's not dynamic earnings at risk is a dynamic report mv adjustment just like ni at risk is a static report because you start off with a preset pre-given um, uh, rate shock that then goes into your calculations mv at risk is a dynamic report uh, and capital risk is the same thing as mv at risk is also a dynamic report thank you for trying finance training course.com an online collection of risk, puzzle, treasury and portfolio management resources created by risk and treasury professionals.